Just enjoy the trailer. We've had it for three years, and she's been nice to have. And she goes any way you want, and it's cozy. <laughs> yeah, excellent. So I'll do a quick walk around. Uh, Mr. Woods here helped me get hooked up. I've never hooked up a uh, stabilizer bar. Uh, so we got, the lock on there. we got we yeah, got that good. hooked up. Yeah, you you're good, good there. Yeah, good. Got the locks, got the chains, got the lights. We just tested the lights a second ago. Well, we still got the running lights on. And I'm all too close. But there it is. He's got it all cleaned up like it's brand new. We got the lights on. We just tested the, uh, the signals. They worked fine. I'll show you guys the inside when I get home. But uh, this is going to be our first little first run. It's about 100 miles from here. He worked for a company that does campground software. All right, now I'm pulling out. I have to wait for that pilot car so I can take a second here and show you guys. So I have, I'm showing 288 miles, and my total trip is going to be 100 and, I'm sorry, 88 miles. It's 88 miles. So normally I would have 58% of battery left when I get there. Okay, that pilot car is coming, so I'm going to get ready. But normally I'd have 58% battery, and in reality, I'm going to be lucky if I make it without having to charge since I've got this trailer. So it's going to be interesting. There's the pilot car. I gotta hop in behind these guys. All right, so we're a little over the halfway mark. If you look here at the 47.4, that's how many miles I've gone. And 42 miles is how many I have to go. Um, I should have stopped a little bit sooner because I was at the top of a mountain. I, I mean, we couldn't really tell other than I just happened to know that that's the top, but uh, I was at 600 mo watts per mile uh almost exactly i think at the very top of the mountain and then now um we've come downhill and there's still a lot more downhill to go so that's going to help me but you can see i'm down to 170 miles rated range even though i've only gone 47 miles um i think at the beginning i was at 289 so i've done like 120 miles of rated range for 47 miles of actual range but that did include significant uh elevation increase and so we'll see how it does the rest of the way down. But all that being said, I'm gonna hit park here, which means I probably am gonna lose that uh, trip info. But uh, got a bit of a nice view here. See if we can see that up on top of the mountain. Looks like there's some rain over that way. And uh, so yeah. Got. I turned it around and headed back uphill just when I was parking, but um, going to uh, turn around again, and head back down, down the mountain. Probably still have, I would guess, another close to 2,000 feet, at least 1,500 feet, maybe 2,000 feet to go down. So hopefully, I'll make up a lot of that um, range that I lost coming up. We shall see. Everything's going well so far. I'm going downhill. It is really helpful that Tesla has added a shoot. So I'm, if you look at the car itself there in that picture, it shows when the brake lights are on. And so my assumption is that if the brake lights are on, that the trailer brake is on. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but that's my assumption. So I'm trying to make sure I don't get the uh, the stop, the brake lights on by letting the regen get too powerful so that my, all my regen is going straight back into the battery rather than losing some of it to, uh, you know, losing some of it to uh, friction braking from the trailer. Man, my windshield's dirty. Got a lot of bugs the other night driving in the middle of the night, but I am headed down. Looks like it's out of focus. I need to do like that. Sorry about that. Headed down the mountain. So at one point coming down the mountain, I was at negative 300 watts per mile. Right at the beginning when it was were super steep. Still a little bit um, in the negative. Still uh, gaining more than I'm using, but I'm about to break even here in a minute, and then I will be uh, back to the consumption mode. I'm down the mountain for the most part, so 
got six miles of free free mileage and then uh, you know it'll be up and down from here hopefully a little more down than up but uh, here in a minute I'll probably be seeing the end of the uh, negative so I got one more little downhill here so uh, even during the downhill I'm losing using some using a little bit here in a minute I'm gonna go uphill and that'll be the end of it going downhill and still uh, using more than I'm gaining back yep going up this hill I should go back into consumption I would expect to except for that I'm turning I gotta slow down and turn Negative two. Oh shucks. Not to the turn yet. Oh darn. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of that. Oh well, wait. Oh, I'm uphill here. Negative five. Oh, I'm surprised I'm using a lot here. I'm surprised it's still showing. Zero. 6.9 miles, almost 7 miles, cost me nothing. In fact, I'm turning, so it shouldn't, I shouldn't go up. Oh, shoot, there it is. Turn snuck up on me a little bit, it always does. Wasted a lot of energy slamming on the brakes. Instead of letting it slow down, and now I'm going uphill. So, big time uphill. So you can say, forget about it. Takes a little bit to update. I mean, I guarantee. There we go. Yeah, just updates every uh, tenth of a mile, maybe. Because now I'm consuming back to consumption. All right, I'm gonna cover a little bit more details uh, on the trip. So the towing capacity of the Model Y is 3,500 pounds. I'm gonna share my screen here, show some details on that. Um, it's 3,500 pounds for the 19 and 21 inch wheels, according to Electric. That does look like a screenshot straight from Tesla's website, though. And 2,300 pounds for the 20 inch wheels. I have no idea why the difference, but that's what it is, apparently. Um, so I left Leisure Acres, which is where I bought the trailer, and I uh, came back to Calhoun. Uh, 89 miles. It does go over. I, I forgot to look the. Uh, uh, elevation of Amicalola Falls, but um, let me just check that real quick. Um, but it was up over a pretty uh, high, okay, so it's at 1900 feet of elevation at the top of that. So it's actually not quite as much as I thought. I thought it was closer maybe to 3000, but um, anyway, it went up say around uh, 1900 feet. Uh, or so, maybe a little less, 1,500. Um, took that video here. So I had used 600 watts per mile getting up there. Um, I did forget to grab a video when I got home, um, but I used probably um, uh, the second half of the trip. Um, I had about 80 or 90 miles of rated range when I got home, so I used um, about 80, 80 to 90 miles of rated range uh, from the 170 down to the 80 or 90. To get home and um, so I used a lot less and drove faster once I guess could tell I was getting close to home and had plenty of, of range um, so I used around 400 watts per mile coming coming all the way home and um, so yeah it was definitely more efficient coming downhill as you would expect and, and like I said I started driving faster once I knew I'd get there um, so it's gonna be interesting on the interstate to see how it does but the first pole went great um, basically other than having it totally fill up my back window and rear view mirror. Um, didn't even know the trailer was back there. Uh, driving dynamics were very smooth. Only exception being um, slowing down. Normally when you take your foot off the accelerator, you know, the, car, the car goes into regen mode and you, it's almost like hitting the brake. I mean, you slow down significantly. It is like hitting the brake actually, unless, um, unless you're slamming on the brake. So anyway, with the trailer back there, the regen would go all the way up and yet you still were not slowing down as much as you do typically. Um, so depending on how quickly you needed to stop, you did have to add friction braking um, to you know slow down or come to a stop. I mean, it was slowing down, but just not nearly as much as it normally is. So um, that, was a, that was the only major difference in driving dynamic. I mean, obviously I was driving less aggressively just in general, because I have a trailer, but I mean, it pulled like, you don't even, I mean, it just pulled. I mean, you don't, you know, there's no real indication of how much 
more energy it's using other than to look at the indicator, which I did spend. I mean, I try to be very efficient with my use of the energy. So you know, I'm looking at the indicator when I'm going up hills and trying to not use too much. And also as I get to the top of the hill, try to try to taper off like you would in a gas car just naturally because the car's running out of power. Well, this car's not running out of power. It has plenty of power, but just try to taper off towards the top of the hill so that you're going a little slower as you start to go down the hill. And that way you, you don't need to regen as much because it's more efficient to not have to regen. I mean, regen is great, but if you, you know, drive in a way where instead of using the energy and having to regen it, you just don't use the energy in the first place. That's, you know, that's more efficient than using the energy and having to try to regen because there's, you know, energy losses in, in trying to uh, regen. Um, so it was a great initial little pull. Um, looking forward to the road trip, the actual road trip. Um, to see how it goes. Um, my first leg of the road trip, I'm looking at doing 128 miles. So it is going to be a stretch. I'm gonna do a lot of back roads so I can go slower. And uh, we're gonna to try to string together the first um, from, from Calhoun to Manchester, um, Tennessee, which is 128, 130 miles going the back roads. Um, I'm gonna see if we can string that together, pull on that trailer, it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be exciting. And if I gotta go, I'm on back roads, so if I gotta go 30 miles an hour, I'll go 30 miles an hour and then we'll figure it out, but it's gonna be close, so it's gonna be exciting. So please uh, watch, consider subscribing, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.